So right now, if you don't know, Floyd Mayweather is no longer um, the champion, the belt holder at 147 pounds or 154 pounds for the WBC. He is champion emeritus. It basically means like when he comes back, he can fight for, you know, he, he get first dibs on whoever the champion is at that time. So from my understanding, it looks like Floyd wanted to hold on to the actual titles, but the WBC is like, nah, you're supposed to be retired. We can't just let you hold on to our belt and not know if you're coming back or not. So if Floyd Mayweather does come back in um, in um, in um, May of uh, 2016 in the new MGM Grand AEG Arena, then he will not be a champion. But here's the thing, the WBC is saying that they're gonna have a tournament for the belt. Now, it's been heavily rumored that soon the WBC is going to order Danny Garcia versus Amir Khan too because if Floyd Mayweather is no longer the champion, Danny Garcia is ranked number two, Amir Khan ranked number one. Amir Khan's also also um, the WBC silver champion, which makes him the mandatory. And then you have number three and four, and I don't know how Robert Guerrero's this high. You got Sean Porter, who's ranked number three by the WBC. He's going to be fighting uh, Keith Thurman, which is looking like to be in January of 2016. And you got Robert Guerrero, who doesn't have a fight right now. Brandon Rios is ranked number five. Brandon Rios is a top ranked fighter. I don't see Brandon Rios fighting Robert Guerrero, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, or American because of promotional reasons. And Danny Garcia has, I mean, um, Brandon Rios has problems with, um, has problems he has to worry about with Timothy Bradley this upcoming weekend. So when it comes to a tournament, you would think that they were having between those four boxers, right? Or will, you know, or will they just do, you know, maybe just some random guys, you know, like a tournament. I mean, I know it has to be, I know Danny Garcia and Amir Khan have to be in the tournament, but it depends on how will they do it. Will they say, okay, well, any of you guys between Amir Khan, um, Danny Garcia, Robert Guerrero, and Sean Porter all have to fight each other. So what if they mix, what's, what if they mix, mix and match? What if they say, okay, Danny Garcia, you have to fight Sean Porter, and then um, Amir Khan, you got to fight Robert Guerrero, or vice versa. Um, Danny Garcia, Robert Guerrero, Amir Khan, Sean Porter, and then the winner of those four becomes the uh, recognized WBC champion at 154 pounds. The, uh, the biggest underdog in that four-way tournament would be Robert Guerrero, Sean Porter. And it's crazy because, honestly, honestly... I think that's a tournament that Danny Garcia can win, to be honest with you. I, I, I got Danny Garcia beating Robert Guerrero. I got Danny Garcia beating a Sean Porter. I got Danny Garcia beating an Amir Khan. Like, think about it. Think about it. Think about, like, the styles make fights. We know that Danny Garcia has will have some problems with boxers, like, that can box, that can move. But Robert Guerrero is going to be right there to be hit with his CrossFit style. And then you know Sean Porter is going to come right for you. And Amir Khan's already lost to Danny Garcia and can be knocked out by Danny Garcia again. So when it comes to uh, um, uh, a welterweight tournament at 147 pounds between the top four by the WBC, I'm thinking that Danny Garcia may well end up being the WBC champion at 147 pounds, silencing a lot of critics, especially if he gets past that tournament. But like as it stands right now, only one of those fighters. The reason why the tournament they can't like we can't start really speculating on the tournament right now, because one of those fighters is already linked to a fight with um with uh, Thurman, you know. So we can't expect to see you know Sean Porter fight pull him out of that fight to fight for you know the, like in the WBC tournament. But then again, we don't know. Now when it comes to 154 pound division, let me look that up. Right now, I know Floyd Mayweather is not, no longer the WBC champion at 154. Anthony Mundine, Australian fighter, is the WBC champ, WBC silver champion at uh, 154 pounds. And then you have Jamel Charlo, you know, who's ranked number one by the WBC. It's weird. So you got Jamel Charlo. Let's say if they let's say if they do they do a tournament, right? For the for the for the first four in the WBC. You got Jamel Charlo, John Jackson, Venice Martirosian, Anthony Mundine. Now, who comes out of all of that? I'm gonna say Jamel Jamel Charlo comes out the winner. I got Anthony Mundine defeating a John Jackson, maybe a Venice Martirosian. Martirosian depends on what Martirosian shows up. But when it comes to it, what was all said and done, I got Jamel Charlo beating all of them. And um, you know, number five, you got Austin Trout. But I don't think they would put Austin Trout in the tournament unless um, Venice Martirosian or John Jackson couldn't be in it. Because as it stands right now, you got Jamel Charlo who beat up Joe Kim. I've seen all pe of all people a fighter that he shouldn't have even been in a ring in, ring with. Um, 
he's calling out Floyd Mayweather. And Floyd Mayweather, as we know right now, was no longer the champion. So like I said, like if there was a tournament at 147, it's looking like it would be um, Amir Khan, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, Robert Guerrero at 154, Jamel Charlo, or the brothers Charlo, twin brothers Charlo, John Jackson, Venice Martirosian, and Anthony Mundine. Yeah, um, right now, Floyd is no longer the champion, so if Floyd comes back, he'll likely come back at 147. He'll be able to fight the winner, because I don't see him coming back at 154 to fight for the WBC title again, where none of those guys can really generate any money. But if, like I said, if Danny Garcia wins that tournament, you know, then, you know, I, I, I think a lot of fans would like to see him fight Floyd, you know, because that would be a big tournament and a, and a nice, quality, nice quality names to beat. But... I don't want to sit here and start rambling. I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. If Floyd Mayweather comes back when the tournament is over, and if the tournament is not going to be over in May, it'll probably just be start. The whole situation is just weird. You know, now I'm really honestly starting to believe that Floyd Mayweather may really, really be retired. I'm starting to think that it could be, you know, it could be the end. Because without having any belts, without having any opponents, you know, like, like opponents where he can really, really, really generate real big money I'm thinking what's the point of coming back unless he just wants to make another easy 50 million dollars you know and of course that would be a big enough reason for me to come back but anyway I don't know T-Street Controversy T-Street Controversy Live